So now I can say open bedroom blind. Okay, opening the bedroom blind. Close bedroom blind. Sure, closing the bedroom blind. Hi there, today we're unboxing a smart Wi-Fi blind motor. So this particular product is by a company called Ajax Online. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So this blind motor can be controlled with a Smart Life app and the Tuya app. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. So you've got some instructions, two sets of instructions, one for the actual motor, installation as well, and how to connect it via Wi-Fi. Okay, next you've got the power adapter. Cable length wise, you've got 2.3 meters on there and cable quality looks good with a DC connector on there. Output is 12.6 volts, one amp DC. Okay, next you've got a template for installing, so you know how low you need to go with the actual blind motor. Then you've got a sticky pad to stick on, so there's two options. Obviously, use the mounting bracket and then stick on, or they've got some fixtures here to screw it straight onto a wall. Okay, so the actual blind motor itself, 4.2 centimeters wide, 16.1 centimeters tall, and the depth is 4.6. In terms of design, all matte finish around there, you've got three buttons on there, you've got the DC power input point, and you've got a, a point here where you can adjust the direction of the actual motor. Okay, underneath here, you've got a release point. So this sits like that. If you hold on to it, you can release it. Okay, if I take the top off, you've got the actual cog here, and you have two additional cogs as well. And they've got a diagram in here just to show which one would be more suitable for your situation. Okay, so this is the blind we're gonna install the blind motor with and there's a pull cord just along the side here. Okay, so the first stage of the installation is to take the template that's provided in the packaging. The template actually has some foam on there and this foam hooks on to the pull cord. So just like that. And then you mark where you want the actual back plate of the blind engine to go. So depending on what side you're on, you could have it on the left or the right. So you'd mark accordingly and the holes on the actual back plate line up to the holes just there. So in this instance, I'm going to go for the ones on the left and I'm going to keep it quite close here. So I'll mark there and there. Okay, so I've got an envelope with some tape on there just to catch some of the dust as a drill. Okay, so next I'm gonna screw on the back plate for the blind motor. Okay, so the next stage is to take the blind motor, turn it around, there's a flap here at the back. If I take that off, it reveals a cog. So the package itself comes with two additional cogs and the cog you require is highlighted in the instructions. So it has a picture of the pull cords and the cogs in question. So in my situation, the cog that's currently in there is suitable for the pull cord here. So if I put that round, and I put this back on. So the way it goes, there's a slight notch on there and then that slots on. And then if we take the cover, place the cover back on, I can take the power cable as well, put that in there. And just to highlight, there's a slider switch there and that's dependent on which direction you want the motor to run in. Now to slot this in, there's some gaps here and there's an area there you can just slot onto and I'll place it in position and pull it down and there you go now it's securely fitted okay so the blind motor itself can be pushed down further or pulled up obviously you've got to press the release to adjust it accordingly to give that extra tension on there so let's give it a go and confirm it's in fully operational order yep lifting is fine and lowering is fine as well so there you go it's working Okay, so next we need to set the trip settings. So this is the maximum at the top and the minimum at the bottom. So if we take the blind up to the complete open position, and then once it's in that position, just click the stop button. There you go. Now it's there. If I go back to the blind motor and we just hold on to the stop button for about five seconds until it starts blinking red. Now, if we come down, we lower it to the lowest position and then hit stop. 
there you go okay so to test it's worked we can just now open it and let's just see if it stops by itself there you go and now if I come back down click the lower button there you go perfect okay so let's get the app installed for this blind motor so very straightforward we'll go for the smart life app or you could use to your smart as well so this is the Google Play Store if I click there click open now I've already got it installed if you haven't obviously install it and create an account on there next we're going to click on the plus here click on small home appliances scroll down to the bottom and got curtain there next we need to confirm the lights on the actual blind motor are flashing. okay so the lights aren't flashing so what we have to do is just hold on to these two buttons so the up and the stop button just for about five seconds and then they should start flashing there you go flashing away now so now you can click confirm indicator rapidly blink okay so entering your Wi-Fi password and just to know this only works on 2.4 G Wi-Fi let's give it a moment to connect okay so the blind motors added let's okay, click so if you look at the curtains they're closed if I click the open button I can pause it as well let it carry on to close it and there you go stopped and let's close it now okay so next let me turn off my Wi-Fi let the phone go on to 4G and let me click open again so it can be controlled remotely even when you're not at home okay to set up on the Amazon Alexa very straightforward if you go to the Alexa app go to skills and games and search for smart life okay so this is a skill you need and if you haven't got it enabled enable it and enter in the credentials you've used for the smart life or to your apps next the devices that it's linking to will be discovered if I go back go back again and we want to go to routines and then we'll click the plus button up here and we want to click when this happens voice and we need to enter in open bedroom blind next to that and then the action to pick smart home all devices and bedroom blind okay next we want to pick power and we want to ensure it's in the on position click next to that and then save okay click plus again click when this happens clicks voice and close bedroom blind okay next to that okay the action we want on this so smart home all devices bedroom blind power and off on that next to that and save okay so next if we look in devices go to all devices and we can see bedroom blind in there and there you go it shows its connectivity so now I can say open bedroom blind okay close bedroom blind okay okay so let's set this up with the Google home so very straightforward if I go to the home app click in the corner here go to settings go to assistant home control click the plus and the service we want to look for is smart life so if you haven't got it add it in once you've added it in it'll ask for your credentials enter your credentials in and then it will link with Google home okay so once the service is linked in if I have a look through the devices I have I'll see bedroom blind If I click on that no options available okay so now I can say open bedroom blind okay opening the bedroom blind close bedroom blind sure closing the bedroom blind okay so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this blind engine from Ajax online very simple to set up and configure doesn't require a hub works straight off your Wi-Fi network you can control it remotely as well in terms of usage it needs a power supply so keep that in mind it doesn't run off batteries so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe